In this video, I'm going to teach you about conditional statements. And conditional statements is how do you tell the computer what to do given some information. So let's go ahead and insert a script into service script service. Delete that. And I'll go ahead and make, just make a basic if statement. If true, then, and I'll put some code here. Print hello world. And if I were to run this right now, you can see that it prints hello world. How that works is, so as long as this condition is true right here, then it will print hello world. So if we set this to false, then it doesn't print because it's false. So let's go ahead and make a little fun scenario. I'm going to make some variables. If you don't know what a variable is, be sure to watch my last video because I explain in detail how to make variables. So local coins is equal to 50. Local price is equal to 100. So we have some money here and then we have some cost. So we're going to do if coins is equal to price, then let's say they're buying a sword or something. Player has bought sword. How this works is so we have two equal signs right here, which just means to compare two values. In this case, it's comparing if coins is exactly equal to price. So remember, coins is 50 price is 100. So by that logic, it shouldn't be printing. See, it doesn't print. But if we set coins to 100, then it will print player has bought sword because they have 100, 100 coins. Now let's make another if statement for the opposite. If coins does not equal to price, then print player got kicked out. So this is kind of like the opposite. So this is a does not equal to operator. And it has this little symbol right here. It's right next to the one key. I don't know what it's called, but it just does the opposite of this basically. So now if we were to do 50, and you can see it prints player got kicked out because player doesn't have a hundred coins. So the only issue now is that it just only works if they have exactly a hundred. Let's say we put our coins to 5,000 and try running it. You can see it still says player got kicked out even though they have more than enough coins. That's because we're checking if the coins is exactly equal to the price, but realistically you want to check if it's equal to or more. So we'll go ahead and put, use the more operator right here. If coins is more than price, then player has bought sword. And if we try running it now, you can see that the player bought sword, but it also says player got kicked out for some reason. And that's because, again, we're checking if it's exactly 100 for the second one. So to solve that, we just check if it's less than. So this is the, this is the more than operator. And this is the less than operator. So go ahead and run this now. And you can see it just says player has bought sword now. And ever try to do 50. See it says player got kicked out. And let's say we did 100. So now we have exactly the same amount. And you can see it doesn't print. Uh, that's because we're only checking if it's more than. We need to check if it's more than or equal to. So we can just type in an equal sign right after it. And this is the more than or equal to operator. And now if we were to try running it, it will print player has bought sword. So even though both of these code is functional, they're not the most efficient as it can be. So we can optimize this by using something called an else if statement. So let's just get rid of this. I'm gonna make a little line right here and type in else if coins is less than price, then and print that. So this is pretty similar to what we had earlier, except now it's all in little, this one thing right here. And it's using an else if instead of a if. So we'll go ahead and run this, and see says player has bought sword, and then just go ahead and set this a little lower, 99, and then player got kicked out. So uh, else if is generally better because it's a lot more clean to look at, and it only runs once. And it also is a little bit more performant uh, because of how an, an else if works is this only checks if this condition is false. If this condition is true, it doesn't bother checking this condition at all because there's no point. So let's go ahead and make another variable. Let's call this one status. I'm gonna set to commenter. So now we can do if coins is more than equal to price. And let's say, actually I'll set this to king. Else if a status is equal to king, then. So this is how we do multiple conditions. So now we can say if the status is equal to king, then they can also get the sword without having to pay for it. So if we're to run this now, and let's say we just have zero money, it'll print player spot sword because our status is king. If we 
did commoner and try to run this player gets kicked out. So it's looking pretty good, but if you notice there are two lines that are exactly the same. So this line and this line right here are exactly the same. You usually want to avoid a duplicate code like this. To optimize this, we can use the OR keyword. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this. I'll type in OR status is equal to king. So this works exactly the same as before. How an OR keyword works is either condition has to be true in order for the code to run. So either they have to have enough money or they have to be a king. Right now we have no money and we're a commoner. So if we were to run this, we got kicked out. And let's say we have enough money, so 200. Then we bought the sword. But let's say we don't have any money, but our status is king. Then we still get the sword. So it works exactly like the same, uh, the last thing I wrote, except it is a bit cleaner because now we don't have two of these. And we can accomplish that by using the OR keyword. And then there's another keyword called AND. So let's say in order to buy the sword, you have to at least be a citizen, like so. So now in order to buy the sword, you have to have more than enough money and you have to be a citizen. So if you're not a citizen, you don't get a sword. So if we're to have zero coins, we get kicked out. And then if we're to have 200 coins and we're a citizen, then we get the sword. But let's say we're not a citizen, let's say we're outsider. Then we would, and it doesn't print anything because we don't have enough money and we're not a citizen. But we also don't get kicked out because of this else stuff right here. This else is checking if we don't have enough coins, which we do actually have enough coins, we're just not a citizen, so we don't get the sword, but we also don't get kicked out. So that's a problem right there. So to fix that, we'll use something called an else uh, condition. So an else looks like this. The difference between an else if and an else is that an else has no condition at all. It's just this. And how this works is if this is false, uh, if, if every other condition is false, then this code will run last. So now if we were to run it, you can see player got kicked out. And that's based on the other conditions being false. And then lastly, there's something called the not keyword. So uh, how not keyword works is it reverses a boolean value. So I'll give an example on the bottom here. If I print true, it prints true, right? But if we put not right before it, it prints false. So it, re it reverses the boolean value. And then if we did not false, then it'll print true. And then we can use that for our conditionals right here. So let's make another variable called evil. So it's true. I'll we'll set this back to citizen. Actually, we don't really need this anymore. Let's get rid of it. So, we want to check if to make sure the player isn't evil when we give them the sword. So, we check if they have enough money and they are not evil. So, not evil. And if we're to run this right now, our print player got kicked out because evil is set to true. If we change this to false, then it will print, then the player would have bought the sword because they are not evil and they have enough money. And that's the end of the video guys. Feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and join my discord if you want to talk with me or any other developers. And also comment down below if you want any other tutorials.